and I wanted to go over a couple things. Obviously, we're putting some QA1 shocks on the front of Frostbite. As many of you guys know, right now we're running the factory Chrysler shocks up front still that came on my RT Ram. And on the back, we're running the 2-4 drop Beltec shocks. And that's been working great for us for traction and 60 foot times. We've been good. We haven't had any wheel hop, much spinning, any of that. We've been doing good. But I came across a deal for these that I couldn't pass up. So I got a set of these for the front. These are the single adjustable QA1 shocks. And I want to go over just how adjustable they are how much the valving changes when you adjust them over the stock factory shop. A lot of people probably want to actually know, well, does it actually change the settings at all when you adjust this? Do they work? Yada, yada, yada. Well, it does do a tremendous amount of difference with this adjustable knob. Uh, you can make this shock feel exactly like the stock shock, or you can make this shock feel exactly like a drag shock where it's like a 9010 basically it'll open up extend really quick really fast and then shut down pretty decent or you can tighten it up again and make it feel like this or get in the middle if you're doing like road racing or anything like that very adjustable so i'm going to show you the stock shock right now is completely extended all right this shock is very very stiff you can see how fast that's coming in. And I'm pushing pretty much as hard as I can. And that's how hard it is to compress the stock shock. Now, when we go on the extend part, that's the part, you know, when the truck launches, it's going to extend this shock on the launch, right? So in drag racing, you would want this to open up fairly quickly. Well, I'm gonna pull this as hard as I can, as fast as I can, so you can see how much of a struggle it is to open this shock. That is as fast as I can get this thing to go and I'm shaking as you can see. All right, stock shock. right now I'm gonna pull this as fast as I can here we go fully extended already so you can see obviously if it was set that loose the truck is gonna just squat very good very quick
as I can. A little bit harder on the rebound or the compression side, but still has a little bit there, and that's all the way loose. So I'm gonna go up about three clicks, do the same thing, all right? So now I'm gonna pull it open again as fast and as hard as I can. All right, much harder, but pretty quick and still quicker than this one. Now I'm gonna compress it. A little bit stiffer, then with it all the way loose, obviously. Now, there's still more adjustments in there, but I'm just gonna do all the way loose, in the middle, and then as tight as possible. So I'm gonna crank this thing as high as it'll go for as stiff as I can get it. There we go. So I have this thing set as stiff, it'll, stiff as it will go, and it's gonna be every bit of as hard to open as this shock was, if not harder. So here we go. Much harder, much harder. <laughs> Look how hard that, I mean, that is going so slow, guys. All right, I give up. I'll be passed out by the time I get it open. Now I'm gonna try to compress it. Yeah, that lets you know how adjustable these shocks are. So I'm gonna go back about four turns. And we're gonna push this closed. Still pretty, pretty stiff on the compression. I'm just gonna to try to open it. Going a little faster, but still pretty hard. So if I go, let's go three more. I'm gonna push it closed. Now I'm gonna to try to open it. So there you go. Go back down a couple more. I think we're getting close to the stock shot. Let's see what that one feels like again. Nope, that's a little bit looser. So let's go down about four more. All right, I think we're getting close there. Let's try that. That's pretty close. We'll go up. All right, that made a big difference right there. There we go. So just about in the middle, and again, these shocks have about 146,000 miles on them, by the way. So they probably would be a little stiffer. But with this setting in the middle, it's pretty close to the stock one. You can see it's hard to open, but it's going pretty, pretty good. And then on the compression, pretty good so right there right there in the middle that would give you a great everyday all day cruising stability it wouldn't have a ton of body roll in it and the truck would handle pretty close to stock like having a stock shock on there um, probably probably better but the point being the single adjustable shocks do work and they're very 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 adjustable you can go from drag racing to everyday cruising to super super tight with no body roll whatsoever if you're doing autocrossing or running it through the mountains or whatever but for us we're looking for something probably around about here that's what I'm talking about so we're gonna try it all the way loose to start with I'll probably go out on the street make some hits with it and when we get to the track We'll try it out with it all the way loose. And if we're getting a little bit too much of this, then we'll bump it up a click or two at a time until we get it where we want it. The biggest thing about shock settings is usually on the launch, it's not too much a big deal as long as your rear shocks are working pretty good. When your front shocks really come into play is when after you launch and you make your pass and then you let off and your truck or your car settles, that is when you don't want a shock that's really, really loose on the, on the compression side or the rebound side because when the 
vehicle comes back down and you let off and all that weight comes back forward and you get this. And that filling is super, super sketchy. So we don't want none of that. We want it to launch good. And then when we come back down, we want it to just kind of gently settle down. We don't want a whole bunch of crazy wobble when it comes down. setting where I want it and when I do I'll tell you how many clicks up from all the way loose it took on my truck at least to get it to be where I want it. Other than that guys hope that video helps you out on the QA1 shocks the single adjustable shocks so as always guys stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button tap the bell button for the notifications and we'll see you on the next one